Welcome to the Wednesday morning edition of the American Rambler. This is a response video to Jeremy of the Portering. Uh, not going to have to worry, there's no bad blood or trying to start any bad blood. I just think that he is giving young men some half bad advice. Okay, so one, uh, he is right about not giving money to these hot tub streamers. You have much better things you can do. They with the five dollar, ten dollar, whatever, how much they charge. And believe me, uh, with compound interest and other investments, or even putting money into crypto, you'll find a much better return than if you were to put the money uh, in a tub tub streams purse. What I disagree with Jeremy about is engaging in any American or Western woman. Okay, I try and explain this to people, especially about marriage. Uh, one, uh, your your parents die and leave you with some money, and they tell you that you have to spend this ten thousand dollars at a casino. One casino gives you win twenty percent of the time. Another casino you win seventy percent of the time, and another casino wins eighty five percent of the time. So now we apply that to the marriage rates of different foreign countries and in America. America is a casino with twenty percent uh, rate. 70% is Southeast Asian and Chinese. Yes, the Chinese one. Okay, and then another one is 85% that would be Russia, Ukraine, Caucasian one. So don't engage with American women because they can be to, me to you even if they just want attention and nothing has been engaged. My friend, my friends and I have countless stories on how women just will make things up just for attention. So do not engage with any Western women. Also, Western women and also, yes, foreign women do have a myriad of ways of extracting wealth or money whatever you want to call it, from a man. I guess he's forgotten about saying one-third of women will pretend to like a man just for free food. Well, there's also a Reddit club where you can find only a group of women that teach other women how to exploit men. Given the sad story, I'm a single mother. I'm uh, don't you care about feeding the kids? Let me order all this time. Oh, my kids have never had this kind of food. Oh, life is so hard for a woman. Yeah, well, life is hard for everyone. If you learn to be a team player, then life will get easier. But they only are concerned with themselves. So my advice to young men is get your degree online if you want a college degree. Get a trade, do something where you can do it online and move out of the U.S. Because all that Social Security money that you're going to be getting, you won't. It's going to go to buy votes. Look, they printed $10 trillion to buy votes and to buy likes while the rest of the country is gone. Ha ha. Or not the rest of the country, but the rest of the world is gone. Ha ha. We fooled the Americans into thinking we like them if they give us money. America, since World War II, has become the world's largest creditor nation to the world's largest debtor nation. And our grandkids are going to be the ones to pay for this. So, young men, do not engage with any woman. Now, I also asked advice from other people. So here's another one, in case you do have to. Okay. 
I asked another demand from uh, the mass here about what advice you would give. Probably the worst thing to judge a woman on is her physical appearance. A woman's beauty and sex appeal uh, have very low, if any, correlation with her actual sexuality and sexual responsiveness to you. Beauty and sex appeal are largely dependent upon income. A woman with a large budget for hair, nails, teeth, plastic surgery, clothing, etc., will look very different than a poor woman with a small budget. So men are chasing the illusion of beauty and sex appeal. It's time for men to raise their standards. I agree with the part about raising their standards, and the best way to raise your standards is by leaving Western or American women alone or to their cats. But then again, uh, as much as they joke around about cats, what have cats have ever done to me to voice such a terrible life on them? Oh, yeah, I remember one of them kept stealing my girlfriend, kept making me look bad. Oh, well, uh, cats, you're on your own. Dogs, I'm here to protect you. And don't forget, check the link below so you can listen on Rumble for what the bastion of unfree speech will not let you hear.